I didn't think I would have an RX-8 or my dream car until I was, dad was like, hey yo, let's go for a drive. And we showed up at this guy's place and he's like, that one's yours. And it was this car that's sitting behind me now. We loaded on the trailer, started on one rotor, drove onto the road, up the driveway, into the garage, and it never turned on again. Hey, yeah. yes. And we dropped down the back of the gearbox yet, so you can get to the uh, slave cellar. Because we still got to bleed it as well. We've got to get to the bleed nipple. I know. Frame of the car. This stiffens up the whole entire car. Connects everything. This is the center of life. I don't know. For the car. Where's the starter motor? There. Starter motor goes in there. Okay, so this one needs a short one. Is that into the block now? This one. This one's into the block. Great. Perfect. Well, this photo is when he was a little baby. And this is in my Cosmo. This is one of my uh, good mates, Dave, at the time. We were. Uh, I know, we're just fixing the car. I think we're installing some gauges and stuff like that. And uh, Seth always wanted to be around the around the boys with the cars. And uh, <laughs> see, I'm not sure if you can see this, but basically down in that little corner there, he's holding a Repco uh, little ratchet. And uh, in Seth's hand right now is the same, same ratchet. ratchet from those many years ago. So. Or three centimeters, or actually one, yeah, it's like three centimeters. What? Yeah, because there's a stop in the in the bolt hole. Dude, you got a colony of baby spiders. I think they're all dead. And that's that's where it sat for the three years. Right there. With dad eagerly wanting to get rid of it. <laughs> Well, a small toddler, he'd spot Eric Ace a mile away. When he still had the dummy, he'd be, he'd pull the dummy out and go, Eric <laughs> Just like that, he was like, where? It's like, crap, there's one like 500 metres down the road. You know, he saw it. it was, it's incredible. Been a big part of my life, all my life, because Dad was into cars and he would go on cruises a lot and... One heart of my car. It spins really fast. Because I like to rev it really high. <laughs> I shouldn't, but it's an addiction. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a tough addiction. Even with cars that don't want to go fast. I'll, I'll take them there. <laughs> no safety glasses around here. Uh oh. WHS. Well, we're not in a workplace, so. I just want to sleep down here. With the impending doom of me being crushed. How you doing? Yeah, good. Just trying to figure out which way it goes. Hey, I love your car. What do you do for a living? I work at Tesla. Today you'll be alive. Alive, I say. Do it again? Okay, that's enough. Because we've got to put the battery on top. <laughs> that sound good? That does sound good. Yeah. The sound will be amazing. Um, when she finally turns over, it'll be um, what I've been looking for forever. It'll be like purring kitten, ready to... Okay. Woo! It's alive! That's great. <laughs> Sounds good when it actually revved. I was too scared to rev it because Dad's like, don't rev it. This puppy will rev to 9,000 RPM. <laughs> I have been on and off building this car for too long, or three years, 
two years it was sitting there and um, one year of solid building. Mm -hmm. Three year process, yeah. There have been many times where people will be looking for me because I will be sitting in the car pretending to change gears because it never had a gearbox in it till today. Now I can actually finally do that. Got some cash together and said, here, let's just get it done. I purposely just sat back and said, right, you're getting this out, you're doing it, and he, he was under there, and you know, obviously I was had to make sure everything was safe. You can see it's on jack stands now, so safety stands, so that it's not gonna fall and crush anyone. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's how it's been for a long time, up, up in the air like that. And the meme of everyone hating RX-8s is the apex seals, which are the seals that seal the rotors in this little gap here. It's probably not in focus, but this bit of metal here is usually a failure point. But there's other re there's reasons why that fails. It's because people don't service their RX-8s enough. Or at all, and then they have problems, they overheat, and they get sad like this one was. You have to look after these cars. If you don't look after them, um, the engines fail at a, at a pretty dismal sort of you know, mileage. So most, most cars you can get away with not doing an oil change or not changing important things like coils or not checking the exhaust and whatnot. You can generally drive them for a couple hundred thousand Ks, two, three hundred thousand Ks. An RX-8, a Mazda Rotary, if you don't do the required servicing and stuff, um, it's not going to last. So unfortunately this car, um, you know, probably had a, a couple of good owners and then it went downhill from there, so. Just the little things like some oil lines and oil pan, that was a big one because someone kind of bottomed this car out, there's scrape marks all along the bottom, so there was big dents in the oil pan. Um, modifications along the way to make it a little bit better than what they were from factory as well so um, it should last a long time as long as he looks after it and then he will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put the brakes on. Missing one bolt because I stripped it out. So that might be expensive to repair. Oops. <laughs> um, sorry for not having the consistency in the film, but I hated my hair. In every way. Yeah. It's gone on the green. <laughs> in two seconds. Sorry, did you just say the green? The green! Hasn't been on the ground. In a few. In a week. <laughs> but before that, three years. Sounds so good. It's what I dreamed of. Well, it's basically a Big Mac. This is a Big Mac with Doritos inside. Because there's bread, there's meat where the Dorito sits, and there's another bit of bread, and there's a Dorito meat, and another bit of bread. This is a Macism reveal. 
I've just made that realization. Is this the funniest thing you've done outside of Macca's or what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't had a, Mac, a Big Mac in ages. 